Hi, I'm Robert Hurt. Thank you for tuning in to our monthly video address. Today I'm at the Callens War Memorial in Pennsylvania County, which pays tribute to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for their country during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. We as a nation sincerely thank the brave men and women who have selflessly served our nation. Throughout the generations, our veterans have courageously preserved our freedoms, and for that we are forever grateful. To the over 800,000 veterans who call Virginia home, I thank you for the immeasurable sacrifices you have made. I am proud to serve you in Washington. As we work to address the challenges facing our nation, we do so with the sacrifices of our veterans in mind. This month, the House of Representatives passed numerous pieces of legislation to aid our veterans, including H.R. 2189, which is an important step in addressing the unreasonable backlog of disability claims we now have with the Department of Veterans Affairs. Today, the backlog of veterans' disability claims stands at approximately 410,000, and the average waiting period at the regional VA office in Roanoke is 448 days. Our veterans should never be forced to wait over 400 days for the medical benefits they deserve. I'm encouraged by the passage of this legislation, and it is my sincere hope that it will move us closer to providing a solution to the current backlog. The House also passed legislation this month to reduce veterans' homelessness by putting in place meaningful reforms to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, which provides housing assistance to disabled veterans. Additionally, we approved the Veterans Economic Opportunity Act, which establishes programs to provide economic opportunity assistance to our veterans. We must ensure that our veterans receive the benefits they so genuinely deserve in a timely manner. It is my sincere hope that the legislation passed by the House this month moves swiftly through the legislative process so that we may rectify the faults in our current system. I am grateful for the opportunity to represent you in Washington as we look for ways to make our future brighter for our country. And this Veterans Day, we remember that it is because of our nation's veterans and its military servicemen and women that we have the freedom and liberty to work toward a better future for our children and grandchildren. Again, thank you for tuning in to our monthly video address. I encourage you to sign up for more frequent updates at our website at hurt.house.gov and join the conversation on our social media pages. Thank you.